Hey, what's up, everybody? Bring you another review. The time is of the SH Figards Deadshot from Suicide Squad. Let's get started. Overall, I was apprehensive about the figure, but uh, came out to be pretty well. It's a little lacking in some areas, but we're going to go over that now, aren't we? Let me take the gun out the hand so we can see what we are working with. <clears throat> now, first and foremost, I kind of figured and I called it. There was no way they were going to let this plate just be a plate. So I want to talk about this. If you remove the front plate, you get this whole belly of articulation and stuff like that. But they give you the plate on a rotating ball joint. So that way you can still try to maximize the bit of articulation you want to get out of the figure. So you can still rotate left and right. You can move it. So as you can see, you can still move it down. But you lose the absolute amount of app crunch you would have gotten. But you still gain some in areas with the plate down. As you can see, just like right here. So you can't go all the way down for obvious reasons. It'll pop the plate out of the ball joint. Now, as, Tom said, uh, as far as the arm articulation, still go all the way around. There's bicep swivel. It's not double jointed, but it's pretty far up. There's ball joint on the hands. Now, as far as attention to detail on the outfit, they pretty much nailed it. But the problem is with Bandai is that they nailed it a little too well. Because what happens is, they gave you everything you can possibly get from the figure, but you can't take out any of the weapons. So it's a little upsetting that you have the two revolver. Well, you have the two handguns here. You have his uh, his signature handgun he actually uses in the movie right here, which you cannot remove. And you have all these clips everywhere. Can't remove a single better one of them. Uh, I thought it was dope that they added it and they paid attention to detail. The problem is that you can't do anything with it. You have the guns on the side wrist. Really dope. And again, the entire outfit is really cool. Even the knife head, the mechanism, you can rotate it so that way you can do what you want. Problem is, again, you cannot take it out. So you can remove it off the ball joint if you want, so that way you don't have to worry about it being on the figure. But you can just pop it back on if you want to as well. So there's all this attention to detail, but it's a little lacking in the case of, you know, you can't do anything with it. Also, articulation on the left leg, because you can do the drop-down method, it's really nice, except... It's useless because of the clips are in the way. You can't remove it. You can't do anything about it. You can rotate it on this ball joint, but it kind of gets in the way of articulation. So that sucks, but again, you still got a dope looking figure. So now, even though you don't get a figure with the full me mechanism of articulation, because as you can see, it's moving here, you can still do pretty cool things with it. You know, like you can rotate your left here to do cool things you can do the closed fist or you can do the guns for the wrist holsters there's still poses that you can get but you just can't i don't know it's hard to explain it's like you have a really good standing figure you have a good figure that can do the articulation but i'm pretty sure for the things you probably had in mind for deadshot you probably won't be able to do them i could be wrong but uh actually i am wrong you can do it because you have tons of ankle pivot you'll just be a little disappointed by having to remove these to, you know, rotate it down. And again, I was wrong. You could remove them, but I was saying far as figure-wise, you shouldn't have to. So you can do cool stuff like do the gunshot. You can do the running pose. But then you just left out with so many wants, you know. But sorry about that. I kind of went off to a tangent. But you just left with so many wants. Actually, let me see if I can turn it upside down. Which I can. All right. That makes things a lot better, actually. <laughs> so I'm learning as long while I'm teaching you guys. This is pretty cool. Now, the head scope, because I'm going to pop the head off. <clears throat> now, the head scope, let me see if I can get some more light on this. It's actually pretty accurate to lazy Will Smith as he was in the movie. And I'm not saying Will Smith is lazy. I'm saying the lazy face that he makes. This is totally Uncle Phil face, you know, and it's actually done really well. He has a lazy, apathetic approach that he had during the Suicide Squad movie, which, you know, it was just a movie. But it's totally there. And I like that they pretty much nailed it. The only issue that I have with the head is that around the beard is too much gloss. So as you can see in the light, it just shines a little too much for my liking. But I'm pretty sure people can flat coat it and get that out of the way. Nothing you can't do. It's just a little too glossy around the, the mouth and the beard. Now... What we can do is we're going to pop in the alternate head, which I think is really dope. I think this head is really cool. 
My only gripe is the eyepiece. But you know what? I'm okay with it being on. Because honestly, when I popped it on like this, I was like, man, this figure looks 10 times better. He's way more menacing. He has the look of a dead shot. It just, in my eyes, is perfect. It looks so much better with the mask head on. The Will Smith head is great, but the mask head definitely shows the dead shot that you want to talk about, that you want to to be menacing, that you want to be. I just think that they nailed it with this head really well. It's done really well. So I'm going to leave this one on for a bit. As you can see, the hands that are left on are the hands for holding the gun. This is the weapon of choice that he used in the movie as well. So you get it. Just like in the pictures, you can hold it with the right hand and the front uh, grip with the left hand. You also get two relaxed, or should I say open palms. And then he comes factory sealed with uh, his closed fist on. So as far as accessories, they kind of lacked out on you. But honestly, um, I really do enjoy this head a lot, or the Deadshot figure. I think that it's proof that he came to work, and it just infinitely makes the figure look 100 times better. The aesthetic of the figure it just looks amazing. I just think it fell short with accessories because you gave it all the attention to detail that you needed, and it's accurate, but you can't actually use any of the things attached to them. So it's a little frustrating. Overall, the figure is still dope, though. But still, very, very frustrating. But, uh, yeah. Sorry to just keep going like that. It's just it's a little too much. But let's get into size comparisons. This is Deadshot next to Frank Castle. Mezco. As you can see, he's smaller, but the bulk and the build-wise, I think SA Chef did a good job of procuring that as normally their stuff looks a little too slim. But even against Punisher, it looks like he can hold his own. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, up against the Marvel Legend, again, oh wow, they're actually about the same height. So this is actually pretty good. So he's about the same size as a normal Marvel Legend. A little smaller than Frank Castle, but in the scale of Marvel Legends. So this is really dope. Let me pick his head up a little. And as you can see, he's not the same size, but he's pretty close to it. This is him with an SHF next to them. Well, an SHF Kamen Rider next to them, which is about the same for Sentai and other characters. So he's a little smaller. Then we're going to compare him to some Figmas. So this is him next to the Figma Link. And then we're going to do Deku. So size-wise, I think he actually scales really, really well with Domestics, which is going to be pretty dope. So you can put him up against your Marvel Legends, you can put him up against your DC Universe Classics, or just your other imports in general. So to the trade-off for the accessories, you actually get a pretty dope-looking figure. And if you want to deal with that, or if you want to mod these things, I think you'll have a great time doing it. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Aesthetically, it's super pleasing, and I'm pretty sure I can give him a million different weapons. I just won't be able to use the ones that are on his body. In the meantime, guys, hope you're drinking your water, I hope you're being good, and I hope you do good. Have a great night. Later.